How's it going everyone? Series 9 has just been revealed and in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about it. All of the new cars, the full festival playlist, features, everything you need to know. If this video is helpful to you guys please do consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like, it helps out massively. Let's get into Series 9. We're going to start off with the festival playlist, all of the new cars within it and everything like that. So the full series starts on the 23rd of June and as you can see it is called Horizon Academy or also known as Hot Wheels Academy. Exactly one week today is when Series 9 begins. So on the festival playlist for the full series for 80 points you can get the Hot Wheels Twin Mill and for 160 points you can get the Ferrari Dino or Dino. Nothing new there. However, let's move on to the first week, which is summer. Now, for 20 points, you can get the first new car of this month, the Hot Wheels 2 Jet Z. And then for 40 points, the Lamborghini Aventador J. I know these cars were in Horizon 4, but we're still going to class them as new cars because they are now in Horizon 5 again. Now, the car pass vehicle for that first week that starts on the 23rd of June is the 2021 Aston Martin DBX, which is quite an interesting car for the car pass. I'm looking forward to that one. Now the Forzathon shop for that week has stuff like the Pagani Huayra BC, the Koenigsegg Aguera RS and two new Hot Wheels cosmetics, the Monster Truck car horn and the orange hoodie which will go very well with my orange hair. Here are a few screenshots of the rest of the challenges available that first week on the festival playlist. Now the second week, which is autumn, for 20 points you can get the next new car of this month, the Plymouth Barracuda Formula S, and then for 40 points you can get the Neo EP9. The new car pass vehicle for that week, which starts on June the 30th, is the 2020 Lexus RCF Track Edition. Very cool car. That's four new vehicles so far. Now the Forza Von Shop for that second week has stuff like the Ital Design Zero Uno, the Ferrari F50, and yet again two new cosmetics, the Hot Wheels guitar stadium car horn and the Hot Wheels crew socks which are blue. Here are a few more screenshots of the rest of the challenges available that second week. Onto the third week which is winter which starts on the 7th of July. For 20 points you can get the next new car, the Dodge Coronet Super B and for 40 points the Zenvo ST1. The car pass vehicle for that third week is the 2019 Nismo 370Z which is another new Nismo coming to the game just like the GTR a couple of months back. Now the Forza on shop for that third week has stuff like the Toyota AT37, the Hennessy Venom GT and yet again two new cosmetics, the Hot Wheels Ice car horn and the Hot Wheels suit which I quite like to be honest. Here's a few more screenshots of the rest of the festival playlist that week. On to the fourth week, which is spring. For 20 points, you can get the next new car, the Hot Wheels Metropolitan Custom, I think it's called. Nash Metropolitan, that's it. And then for 40 points, you can get the Peel Trident. Now, the car pass vehicle for that fourth week is non-existent. That's right, if you remember, the car pass has finally come to an end. They've given us all 42 vehicles they promised. So from now on, there are no new car pass vehicles. There are only three car pass vehicles this month. The Forza Thon shop in that fourth week, however, has stuff like the Lamborghini Gallardo Spider, the Ferrari FXX, and yet again, two new cosmetics, the Hot Wheels Flame Horn, the Hot Wheels Sundress, which will look particularly good on AR12 Nick. So for the full festival playlist, that is it. We have three new car pass vehicles and four new cars coming to the game within the festival playlist. Two of which are Hot Wheels vehicles from previous Horizon games, but they're still technically new to Horizon 5. Now, believe it or not, there are actually three more new vehicles coming to the game that will, will be available through wheel spins, as simple as that. The 2012 Hot Wheels Rip Rod, the 1949 Hot Wheels Ford F5 Julie Custom Hot Rod, and the 2005 Hot Wheels Ford Mustang. Those are three more new cars coming this week, or this month I should say, that you can get either through wheel spins 
or from playing the campaign in the Hot Wheels expansion. Once again, those are cars that are in Horizon 4, but they are, they are new to Horizon 5 and they're gonna be within wheel spins. So that in total so far is 10 new vehicles coming in Series 9. Now, if you add that to the previous 10 vehicles confirmed already for Hot Wheels, such as the Hennessy Venom F5 and stuff like that, we're getting 20 new vehicles this month for Series 9 and Hot Wheels. That's a lot of cars. Now, we have been told that one of these 10 cars is actually incorrect, and that is the Ital Design Da Vinci concept. This car isn't actually coming to the game, and Playground Games made a mistake. The car that is coming in the place of that is the 1963 Schuppen I think it's how you pronounce it, 962CR. That is coming to the game in those 10 cars that you see on screen, and the Italian design Da Vinci concept isn't. They got it wrong, I'm just making a correction there. Now I don't need to remind you that the Hot Wheels expansion is coming this month along with Hot Wheels cosmetics as we've seen such as Hot Wheels car horns and Hot Wheels clothes and stuff like that. We already know that. Now we also know about the Horizon story in Hot Wheels being co-op. Now they have announced that all Horizon stories in Mexico as well as Hot Wheels are now co-op. Series 9 now introduces the option to play Horizon stories in co-op with up to six players in total. The way it works is the highest scorer in, out of your teammates is the score that goes towards the goal. So if your friend does better than you in the Horizon Story, it is his, his score that will count towards the Horizon, score, Horizon Story goal. There is a new Rivals event called Forza EV Rivals Electric Vehicles. Starting with Series 9, a new Forza EV monthly Rivals event will be open to drivers to set their best lap times. This new Forza Rivals event complements the existing monthly Rivals challenge and every month you're going to be able to drive a different electric vehicle just like normal you know you set a clean lap time and it goes towards your festival playlist and along with that they have added a new dedicated electric vehicle class to event lap so you can restrict it specifically down to evs there is a new anti-aliasing graphics setting option for pc players i'm not going to go too deeply into what it says on screen if you're a pc player and you want to know new more about the new graphics setting you can see the details on screen they've sort of fixed or added two very cool features in my opinion the creative hub rank will now show in correctly in the creative hub menu so your rank in your creative hub menu will now increase the way it's supposed to and you should level up like you should i believe everyone's been stuck at level one um, which has been an issue for a while and along with that they've also added a new filtering option in your garage or car selection screen to only show duplicate cars this is going to finally help a lot of people including me get rid of all my duplicate cars that I don't know I own. That's a long awaited feature in my opinion. They've done a load of bugs and fixes but four of the main ones that they stood out is that they have fixed an issue that prevented 12 player convoys from launching events. They've fixed an issue with daily challenges in the festival playlist not being completable or resetting after rebooting your game. They fixed a speed zone exploit where people will be able to cheat scores using photo mode and they've also fixed the it just works accolade which is very ironic because it's not worked until now so series 9 is a full one and as for everything that's coming in series 9 that is pretty much it we've got 10 new cars plus the 10 for hot wheels which makes 20 the new stories the new settings and stuff like that but as for everything guys that is series 9 in a nutshell please do let me know your honest opinion on series 9 in the comment section below anyway guys please do leave a like if you've enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already for more horizon 5 content just like this and i'll see you all later <laughs>